So today uh, I'm going to be working on the rear tire of my dirt bike. It's a KTM 300 XCW and I was noticing that the wheel bearings um, here in the hub uh, starting to have some play and it's pretty bad uh, when I move the tire back and forth like this I can really tell that there's some definite play in the bearings there so I'm going to go ahead and replace those today I'm going to show you guys how that's done. So the way that you tell whether or not your bearings are bad on your hub uh, is to take the tire by both sides and twist it back and forth. And if you can feel any play at all, that's a good indication that the bearings are bad. You can also hear, in this case, that knocking noise is the bearings um, on the hub. You can also see on both sides uh, where the axle goes through, right at the hub, um, you can see a little bit of movement there. So if you can see any of those kind of indications, uh, you should go ahead and replace the bearings on both sides of the hub. So for this job, you're gonna need a couple of blocks of wood. You'll need a gas torch. You'll need a dead blow hammer with a long punch. Uh, you'll need a flat headed screwdriver, a bunch of paper towels, a set of snap ring pliers, uh, some B12 chem tool, grease, and a large socket. So the first step in this process is to remove these end caps here. These can be potentially kind of hard to pull out. So now that you have the end caps off, you'll want to go ahead and you'll want to uh, pop out these dust seals. And you can do that just with a regular screwdriver. You just get underneath here and kind of pry on it a little bit. There you go. Yeah, you can see these are pretty bad. That grease in there is pretty dry. And one thing you want to watch out for when you're prying these is not to get too big of a bite um, because what you don't want to do is you don't want to score this surface here uh, where the dust seal seals against. So once you have the dust seal out, you can just go ahead and clean out the grease that's built up in here. So you can see this side does actually have a snap ring here. So you can just be kind of hard to see sometimes with the grease that's built up. So I'm going to use a pair of snap ring pliers here and I'm going to pop this out. The next step to getting the wheel bearings out is to move the spacer for the wheel bearings over to one side. And it's basically this metal tube that sits in between the wheel bearings so that they can only get so close to each other. Um, in my case, uh, it's actually kind of loose. So I can actually reach in here and just push it over to one side. And that way there's a lip here on the underside of the bearing. I'm going to use a couple of blocks of wood here set underneath the tire. So that way... Uh, the bearing can drop out. So now that you have the dust seals taken out, um, what you're going to want to do uh, is take out these bearings. And uh, in order to do that, uh, the easier way to do it is to heat up the hub here so that the aluminum expands. And by doing that, uh, it'll be a lot easier to get the bearing out of here. Um, so what I'm going to use is just a regular um, burns a torch uh, and I'm gonna heat this up you want to make sure that you're not leaving the torch in one spot so that it doesn't get hot in one area so just keep the torch moving around in a circle so that it heats up evenly I'm going to use a long punch in this case I'm just using a long metal rod but it'll work and then you're gonna reach down there and you can see that I'm hitting the underside of the bearings. So you want to do is tap it from one side to the other so that it backs out evenly. So just tap it on that side and then move it back to the side. So here you can see the spacer that goes in between the two bearings. This thing just seats uh, between the two bearings like that. This thing is not directional at all. Um, it's really just meant to make sure that those bearings are evenly spaced. So now that I have the bearings out, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean up these surfaces here uh, with a paper towel, 
and some B12 chem tool. So now that you have the surfaces here all nice and clean, you can go ahead and you can seat the new bearing back in there. Uh, it's just gonna slide right in there like that. And then you can take a hammer. It's really important that when you seat these bearings in, you make sure to hammer around the edges here um, and not just on one side or the other because you want them to go in perfectly straight. Uh, and if they get into a bind at all, you need to push them back out and start over again. So once you have the bearing pounded in flush uh, with the edge of the hub here, you can either use a bearing press tool or you can use an old socket or something like this. So that's what I'm gonna do right now uh, is just use an old socket, line that up, and then do the same thing and just press it down. So that's seated down nicely past where the snap ring snaps in. Uh, and you wanna do the side with the snap ring first because when you turn it over and you put the spacer in between the two bearings and then you pound the other bearing in, you wanna make sure that this bearing doesn't get pushed back out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this snap ring in here. There you go. Snap rings in. It's all nice and secure. So now you can flip it over and do the other side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, spacer back down in here. And then I can go ahead and I can seat the bearing on here. Same thing, just tap it down. It's a little bit easier if you can line up the spacer with the hole here about as evenly as possible before you get it hammered down so tight that the one are seat against the other. Uh, so now that you have that lined up, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good whack. You can see that's a little, definitely a lot tighter there. One more. go. So now that you have both of the bearings seated in, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and put the dust seals back in. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of extra grease here and stick it around the inside just to give it a little extra. You can place that in there and then just tap this in. So now that the dust seals are back in, uh, you can go ahead and you can put your uh, spacers back in here. Just take a hammer and tap those back in. All right, so there you have it. Um, a set of newly installed bearings. Uh, it's ready to go hit the trail. Hey guys, uh, so thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful if you are trying to do this project as well. Um, if you have any questions about this project or thoughts or concerns, you can put those in the comment section below. I, I will get to those as soon as I can. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and put uh, links to all of the tools and the parts that I use for this job uh, in the description below so that you guys can have that if you need it. Um, as usual, of course, um, like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel if you like the videos that we're putting out. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks.